Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Olena and in this video I am going to tell you about ISTQB certification. ISTQB stands for International Software Testing Qualifications Board. It is the world's most popular software testing certification. First testers were certified in 1998 and that time the organization was called ISEB. Information Systems Examinations Board, part of the British Computer Society. The first member boards were opened in Europe and now you can take exam in 110 countries worldwide. In order to take uh, exam you don't obligatory have to attend any training courses. You can prepare by yourself. Um, ISTQB provides learning materials such as syllabus and uh, definition dictionary also, it is possible to observe sample questions with answers and um, you can buy a special ISTQB um, guide. It is a book prepared uh, by uh, people who um, wrote ISTQB syllabus. Uh, on this uh, slide you can see the structure of organization. ISTQB here is um, a main organization. It creates syllabus and defines worldwide rules. Uh, but you don't uh, deal with uh, this organization directly because it has member boards. Member boards here are located in different countries, one for a country. They translate syllabus for local language, prepare test questions, accredited training providers, organize exams and issue certificates. This is ISTQB official website. You can find here a lot of useful information about ISTQB certifications. I'll show you where to find your local member board. Here it is, your local member board. And there is a list of member boards in different countries. We'll take a look on Canadian Software Testing Board, for example. So here there is a link for website. And the websites of uh, local member boards, they are unique, they are different. And they are made by um, member board of uh, that country. So here there is information about types of ex exams, ISTQB providers, fees, and also you can find information where you can take the exam, the location. Here you can see levels and mod modules of ISTQB. There are three levels. Foundation here, advanced here, and expert level here. Uh, the first, the very first level you should start with is foundation level certification here. You can you can't take uh, any other certification without uh, having foundation level certificate. Uh, before taking exam, you you have to pay an exam fee. The cost is defined by local member board and varies by the country. For example, in Canada it is uh, 300 Canadian dollars. After successfully passing foundation level certification, this one, you are eligible to proceed with any other foundation level certifications like Agile Tester or Module Based Tester. In order to take any certification from advanced level, you need to have foundation level certificate, this one, and uh, sufficient working experience. The minimum experience is defined by the local board members. For each country, it will be different. For example, in Canada and US, it is uh, at least three years of verified full-time working experience in Germany and Russia. It is only 18 months of working experience, so it's different. Validity time. Foundation level and advanced level STQB certificates are valid for the whole life. 
Uh, expert level STKB certificates are valid only for five years. ISTKB is constantly expanding their certification range. Uh, Agile Foundation appeared in 2014. Uh, Model-based tester uh, was established in 2015. And many new certifications such as Usability Tester, you can see here, Performance Tester, Automotive Tester, and some for Agile Advanced Level, they are in development. On the websites of your local member board, you can verify certifications which are available in your country. Mm. Sometimes there can be some additional uh, certifications which were prepared by member boards. For example, in America, um, American Software Testing Qualifications Board provides a mobile tester certification. There are paper-based or computer-based electronic formats of taking the exam. I have experience of taking both uh, types of exams as electronic as on paper. Uh, I prefer electronic ones because the results are available right away. If it is on paper, the results are, uh, are usually received on email within two weeks, but uh, it depends on the exam provider. And then the... Um, the certificate itself on the paper uh, usually mailed you um, within two months on the address you mentioned in your application. Here you can see the global pass rate of ISTQB exams. Um, so the highest rate is for foundation. It is 74%. So it means that 74 people from 100 people uh, who took the exam, they pass it. So it's actually good results. What are the benefits of having a STQB certificate? First, it gives a great theoretical knowledge about software testing activities, which can be applied in practice. So it will be more efficient and effective at work. Uh, I like a chapter about test design techniques. I usually use this knowledge when I create test cases. Then having a certificate shows your desire to learn the best practices of software testing and improve your testing skills. Uh, your current or potential employer will know that you are willing to expand your software testing knowledge. Um, as it is a worldwide recognized certification, you can be ready for software testing jobs across the globe. So you can take ISTQB certification, for example, in Ukraine and then move to US, Canada or European country and um, this certificate will be recognized there. And you can grow proficiently during your career and also expand your knowledge about testing because there are different certification levels as uh, we discussed before. On this slide you can see ISTQB certification growth trend. It starts from May 2006 and till June 2016. Pretty fresh data and you can see that this trend is uh, growing fast and STQB certification is becoming more and more popular. Here you can see how uh, ISTQB certification is popular among the globe. Asia has the biggest share of ISTQB holders, uh, 48%, then Europe, then America, Oceania and Africa. You can find ISTQB tutorials on my channel. If you are interested in software testing related videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in my next videos.